What's going on everybody? I'm Abyss Fusion. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Welcome back to another food reviews. I am fully aware that in the last video I did, which was the Dark Thunder Zero Blast Energy Drink review, I said that was going to be my last review for this year, but I have changed my mind. Um, it won't be. This will be. Today, I've got... You know, brum brum brum, DPD, running past my house. Today, I've got a burger to review from Hungry Joe's. I'll just uh, quickly get the burger out of its uh, correct packaging. Now, Hungry Joe's, in case you don't realise, and all of my pets are looking at me with great confusion, for obvious reasons, because I've got food, um... Hungry Joe's is, it's a, it's a fast food sort of, like, restaurant place to go, a place to order out and get some food in there. I went to go and collect this, and this is called uh, the Firecracker Burger, and I paid altogether £5.90, but bear in mind, um, chips were included. Chips weren't, in, were, were, no, chips, she asked me if I wanted chips, and I said yes, uh, she also asked me if I wanted a can of pop, um, I should have said yes, but I said no, so I paid £5.90 altogether, the burger itself is about £4.90-ish, £4.80, so the chips themselves must have been about 90 pence or something like that, which isn't too bad, but... Uh, the Firecracker Burger, um, here's the thing, it's not the first time I've had a burger from Hungry Joe's, but it's been about two years since I have actually had a burger from Hungry Joe's. Uh, recently, about, I want to say two months ago, I had some of their breakfast buns that they do, um, I should say what they specialise. Um, Hungry Joe's is basically an American-based, they sort of like base themselves off of American fast food, drive-by, knock-off drive through, whatever you want to call it. Basically, they specialize in burgers, hot dogs, uh, breakfast, uh, like breakfast buns, like bacon and sausage, bacon and sausage and egg and all that stuff. But they also do dinners as well, like chili con carne, uh, chicken curry. They specialize in quite a couple of things, um, shakes as well. They do quite a lot of things, but their most well-known fact, um, most well-known thing on their menu is the burgers, because their burgers are named, or the majority of them, are named either after American towns or mainly American towns, but they like to mix it up every now and then. This is called the Firecracker, which establishes, 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 fuck off, that establishes, that basically tells us it's going to be a very hot burger or a spicy burger at best, but they do Tennessee burger, I believe, they do a chili burger, they do a lot of burgers that are based off like American cities and towns. So, yeah, this is what the burger uh, looks like. Not the most appealing sort of thing, but it's got the basic sort of... It's got two um, small burgers on top of each other. Or oh, they should be on top of each other, but they're not. Shit, one sliding off. It's got two small, like, single burgers, like, maybe the size of, like, a normal cheeseburger from McDonald's, like, the size of those patties. It's got two of them on. It's got some cheese. It's got some jalapenos as well. Uh, some tomatoes underneath there. Oh, and some red chilies as well. You can kind of see it right there. Um, so I'm just going to put that down. Should have honestly brought some towels or a kitchen roll with me, but and the chips, they're pretty standard chips. Uh, these chips have got some salt on them, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try out the chips first and see if they are good or not. Chips are pretty good. They are crunchy. I do like my chips a bit crunchy. I mean, they're pretty good fries, like, there's nothing spectacular about, spectacular about them. Hmm. 
Chips are really fucking nice. Mmm. Chips are very nice. Now, again, the chips, they don't have anything like spectacular about them. But, I'll admit, the chips are very good. They're crunchy, not too crunchy though. Um, and they've got salt in them. Although then again, I did ask them to put some salt on. I could have said no, but I decided against it. But, here it is. The firecracker burger. I just want to look underneath. Yeah, it's got some uh, red jalapeno peppers underneath that. I don't know if it's got uh, some type of sauce on. It has definitely got a type of sauce on, but anyway, um, I should have. I'm going to remove the tomato because I, I hate tomato for the life of me. I really don't like it, but anyway, here it is. The firecracker burger from Hungry Joe's. Um, here we go. My cat is looking at me. Very funny. He's got he's got such a grumpy look. Anyway, firecracker burger. The burgers themselves, like, I'm immediately getting a hint of hotness there. I don't know. There's definitely a bit of hotness in there. Oh dear, mate. It's not incredibly spicy, I'll admit that much. It's, it's on the point where you can tell it's spicy, where you'll have a bit of spiciness to it, but if you're used to it like I am, it won't affect you that much other than the kick it gets to it. Um, the burger themselves, like the actual patty itself, it's cooked very nicely. Um, it's just the way I want it. Um, you can see right there, it looks, it might look pink on the camera, but it isn't. It's just the crappy lighting I've got in the house, and not to mention outside. It's, um, quite dark, but it isn't pink. It's cooked to perfection. There's no pink there, it's pretty good, pretty standard. Um, it's a very, very nice burger. It is quite spicy though, look. Like, you can immediately tell, like, no matter how tough you are with spices, there is a bit of spice in there, uh, like chili or, well not chili, but like a firecracker, so jalapenos, uh, red peppers, there might be some seasoning in there, I'm not sure, but for £5.90, about £4.80, £4, not £5.90, £4.80, £4.90 for the burger and then a pound for the chips. It's honestly really good. I, I like it a lot. I do generally like it. It's the first burger I've had from there in about... I'll say two, three years, one of them. That's enough. Alright. So... To describe it... <clears throat> It's got, the burger patties themselves are very, very good. Exactly how I like them. It's got the perfect amount, amount of hotness to it. It's not too spicy, but it is spicy enough for you to recognise it. And the chips themselves are pretty good. I will definitely be doing more burgers from there in the future, just not any time soon because this is going to be my last review for this year ban it off with a great oh god a um a great burger so 
Uh, if I give it a rating out of five, or do I do a ten? No, I do a ten. Um, if I were to give it a rating, patties is good. The bun itself is good. It's got good spice to it, exactly how I like it. And the chips themselves are very good. Price, honestly, five pound ninety for a specialised burger and chips. It's pretty good money. I'm not gonna lie. So, in terms of a rating, I'll give it an 8 out of 10, you know. If I crack a burger, you've done very good. I do like it. Uh, the tomato, though, is a bit of a downfall, but I could, you can peel off a tomato from your burger anyway. So, yeah, um, I'm going to end it here and finish it off. Um, thank you all very much for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button, possibly share it with a friend, family or relative. And check the description below for my Instagram and my Twitter. I'm always active on Instagram and I'm no longer active on Twitter. And let me know if you want me to do some more uh, Hungry Joe's uh, burgers to review. I can also do their hot dogs or their chicken curries or whatever they have. Um, I'm going to do them anyway, but let me know if you want me to do them uh, when the new year hits, like 2021. Because I won't be doing a video on this channel until the end of 2020 so the 30th the 31st of december is the next video i'm going to be doing but this is the last review that i'm going to be doing last review hands down i've said it right here i'm putting my hand up and saying that it's the last review for this year so i will see you all in the next video that we do which is at the end of the month so i'll see you there and i will have a lot to say about 2020 in that video Bye.